What's up everybody? So, good topic today, why I feel voting is pointless. Now, I believe I made a video about this a couple months back, but however, YouTube decided to just remove the video for no apparent reason whatsoever. Um, so I guess I'm going to remake it again and hope this time that don't occur, <laughs> you know, but all right, let's get to it. So why I feel voting is pointless. And I said, well, those that actually watched that other video, let's say you vote for someone that's good, whether it's a president, a governor, whoever, I'm just making something up, you know, let's say they do this for the country or for the, for the state you're in or whatever they do good. But then when their years are up, there's going to be somebody else that may do the total opposite. And what I mean by opposite, from that person doing good, that person just caused mayhem. You know. So, that's why I feel like it's meaningless in a way because, you know, we want to make the world great. And let's say the specific person does things good, whatever it might be. You know, I don't feel like going into detail, but I'm just saying, let's say he does something good. Now, when his years are done, some other clown's going to come in. That may be the total opposite and may bring things downhill. It's like, look what's going on with Joe Biden. <laughs> Everyone voted for Joe Biden. And now, look what happened. It's making everything. He's part of the whole inflation. He's part of why gas prices are going up. Is pretty much the cause of everything. See, me personally, I never voted and I don't think I'm ever going to vote because I just find it meaningless. Now, let's say once Joe Biden's done, some other guy comes in the, in the, in the you know, the White House, whatever you want to call it, the office. And let's say he's good. <laughs> let's say he's good. He's got eight years max. So whatever he does good within those eight years. It's only going to be eight years. If some other guy comes and does something the total opposite, it's going to be bad. Then I feel like it's meaningless because we're just temporarily fixing a problem that's just going to spread again. You know what I mean? It's like, think of it as a patch, you know, like th there's a leak here. Let me patch it, but eventually that patch is going to get bad again. You got to fix the problem completely. You can't just temporarily fix it, rig, you know, crap, rig it or whatever, you know. So that's basically like the same thing I'm saying with candidates and shit, you know. He's going to do good for this country. And let's say he does. Let's just say once his years are done, some other guy might turn it completely upside down. So that's why I feel like really it's meaningless because we're just temporarily, temporarily fixing a problem that's just going to possibly become worse, you know. And truthfully... All my years being in this world, I didn't see anything getting solved. I didn't see anything getting fixed. If anything, things just gotten worse. So it's not even getting better life itself, you know. But hey. You know, it's like, for example, let's say you have some kind of condition where you need surgery. Let's just say, I'm, I'm not being specific what kind of condition it is, but let's just say it's a condition. <laughs> and you need surgery to get it corrected. Now, this medication you can take to help help you feel a little bit better of whatever you're feeling but it's not going to be the permanent cure what you really got to do for the permanent possibly cure is get surgery so that's why i look at the same thing with candidates one's going to do good for the country but then when his time is done or her time is done some other clown might turn it completely upside down you know it's like basically straightening out your room it's a mess. You're straightening it out. You're putting things in your drawer. You're cleaning everything, putting all your clothes in the closet, on the hanger. And then some other dude just comes in there and just <laughs> puts it right back to where, where he first started. So that's why I feel like it's just meaningless to vote because what might, what might get solved might get unsolved down the line, <laughs> you know, but, uh, you know, that's my little opinion on that topic now however i'm not saying don't vote we should all have the right to vote for whoever we want to vote for you know i'm not saying in any way don't vote i'm just saying it's meaningless because it's really not going to solve anything but at the same time i'm not saying don't do it if you guys have interest in voting go out and vote whatever 
should have every right to vote for whoever you want. And you shouldn't have to worry about some person, oh, you voted for this person, what an asshole, you know, and that's all it is. That's why some people put things on their car, like a Trump sticker or a Biden sticker or whatever, and those are just assholes basically asking for themselves to get trouble to them, whatever it might be, whether they get gunned down, whether they get the ass whoop, whether their car gets vandalized, whatever. That's one thing I would never do. Now, me personally, I'll be honest, I really don't care for... For the, like when it comes to candidates i'm really not interested in it, interested in this topic too much i don't really care for what biden does i don't really care for what trump does or whatever but then again after what i hear and what biden does it's pretty sickening you know and i don't feel like going into detail because i'll probably get removed who even knows if this video will last but it's not like i'm saying anything bad though i mean but you know that's just the media for you everything's corrupt you know they gotta season everything it, all the lies they got to try to season as best as possible so we don't see it meanwhile it's just literally right in front of us how can we not see it but hey that's how it is the shit man it's a freaking show <laughs> just like when at the time andrew yang was running for president you know it'd be president possibly his uh plan would have been universal basic income now i don't know if that would have succeeded or not but let's just say it had. It, it, let's just say it, it did succeed. Once he's no longer president, what's going to happen? That's going to end up going away. So you know, there's benefits to it, but it's only temporarily benefits. You know, we'll get it. You know, everyone gets a thousand dollars a month. You know, whether you work or don't work, you could work whatever you make plus that extra bonus. Or if you don't work at all, you, you, you know. But once he's no longer, you know, he's got eight years in total. He might just only be in there for four years. But whether it's four or he makes it a, another four, eight in total, once that's done, there's going to be another man and it's going to be a different plan. You know? So that's why at the end of the day, I just feel like we're not really solving anything because this is only temporarily. Just like everything in itself is temporarily. Life. Life is temporarily. Everything we do basically is temporarily. Having fun, it's temporarily. We're going to be bored again. You know, you're at an amusement park, for example. You're on a ride. You get that adrenaline rush. It feels good. But then it comes to an end. Then you're like, ah, I'm bored again, you know? <laughs> it's like the pleasureness never seems to last. It always seems it just goes way too fast. So we just never get enough of it, I guess. is basically a right way of saying it. A certain thing makes us feel good. But then... It's like, damn, now we're back to square one, bored or not not in a good mood or I don't know. I'm just, you know, just putting that hypothetically. But, you know, it's like literally building a snowman just for him to eventually melt or just get knocked down if some crazy, you know, person says, oh, let me just push that shit down or whatever. <laughs> you know, it's just basically everything's just a temporarily cycle. But you want to know what's permanent? Death. Death is permanent because once you're dead, you're dead forever. For eternity. You're never coming back. Unless there is reincarnation, which I hope that's not the case. But who knows? But anyway, I think I'm going to wrap it up there. Hope I made some uh, valid statements today. Uh, yeah. Anyway, love you all. Take it easy. And try to hang in there as best as possible, like I always say, even though it's not easy. I'm trying to do it too, man. Is it going well for me? I'm trying to hang in there, that's all I can say. <laughs> all right, take it easy.